Hi everyone and welcome to my In My Mailbox of this week. Um, this is a Mimi hosted by uh, Chrissy over at Story Siren, where we show what we got this week in our mailbox. So I got a lot of books in, I think I got 10. So let's get started. The first one that I got is Lament, I hope I say, um, by Maggie Steve Order. Um, I've read Shiver and Linger by Maggie Steve Order and I love her writing. So I decided that I was going to try the other books out. She has another one, Ballad, I think, and this one, Lament, and it's about fairies. I don't know a lot about this book, but I'm looking forward to reading it. I've got the US cover instead of the UK one. Because I was afraid that the red wouldn't be as vibrant as on the image. So yeah. Next thing I got was Sisters Red by Jackson Pierce. Um, I believe this is a retelling of uh, Red Riding Hood. Um, I love the cover. It's, I love how they put the wolf in her hair. My sister didn't even see it when I showed it to her. Um, I discovered Jackson's uh, channel on YouTube before I even knew she was writing. So I've been following her for a while and I think she's incredibly funny. I will link her channel down below. Um, but I decided to check one of her books out. She has one more, as wish, I think it's called. But I decided to pick this one first. I bought the hardcover. Because I was in the mood for hardcover. It's just plain grey. Nothing on it. And then... Yeah. I was checking if I didn't put it upside down. Like I did with the Modern Smith series. It's just Sisters Red in Red on the Spine. Um, but yeah, it's about two sisters. And more than that, I don't really know about this, but I'm looking forward to reading it. Then I've got three books by Rick Riordan. I've been reading the Percy Jackson series for a couple of weeks now. And I was looking for a series that um, could kind of fill the gap that existed since I finished reading Harry Potter and I got a ton of recommendations for Percy Jackson and the Olympian series so I picked it up a whole uh, while back and I tried it a couple of weeks ago and I read the first and the second book and I loved it and I'm gonna start the third book next week because I wanna read something else first but I ordered the fourth The Battle of the Labyrinth um, in paperback as well as the last Olympian which is the fifth and final one in the series and I won't read the, the back of the books because I'm not finished with book three yet and then I got the Sword of Hades which is an extra book it goes in between book four and five if I'm correct and it was um, well this book oh this one smells um, it was a book from World Book Day, and it has this, <laughs> okay, I'm in such a dark, but I thought it was funny. It's a small story, and, yeah, I, Rick Riordan really got me into the Greek mythology, and I wasn't really into that, I hated it in school, so it's quite an accomplishment for him to do that. So I got the f full Percy Jackson series. Yay! I can finally finish it. I can't wait to uh, order um, The Lost Hero, which is the first book in the new series he's writing. One of the new series, because he's writing two. So yeah, very excited to read it. And then I have a couple of books that I read a couple of of the series when I was 13 or 14 years old and it was the only series I've read for fun while I was still in school before I discovered Harry Potter um, yeah 
So, the first book, Angus Thongs and Full Frontal Snogging, is the first book in the Georgia Nicholson series by Louis Renison. And this book was so funny that it made me want to write my own journal. So I started a diary and I tried to um, use the same funny things that she uh, writes in these books in. But I failed and I don't think anyone would want to read that diary that I made because um, Georgia can be really sarcastic, cynical and while it's really funny I don't think people around me will find it funny when they read it about themselves so this is book one then I got book eight I think and book ten which is really really shiny um, I have book 5 in my book closet and I th um, decided to randomly buy just the books because I love the series but I don't want to pay too much for it so I'm just gonna buy them when they're on sale and I got all three of these for 9 euros I think so it was cheap the, the uh, series has 10 books and some side books I believe but I don't know if I'm gonna read those two, but we'll see. My three books from George Nicholson, and then even more Louise Rennison. I got Weathering Tides, which is part of her second series or new series of Tallulah Casey. And Tallulah is a little bit um, less, less extravagant than Georgia is, but I think. It's going to be equally funny. She, uh, Louise has an incredibly funny writing style and it just made me happy while reading it. I think I've read Angus Thongs and Full Frontal Snogging like six or seven times and I was 14. And I didn't like to read. So, looking forward to this one too. And then last but not least, I got An Earthly. By Cynthia Hand, and I love the cover. It's so shiny. Look. Um, I've been wanting this the book for a really, really long time, so I gave in, and then I got it in. It looked like this. You see it? This is six and a half centimeters of cut and a tear in here, and I have. Several dents in here. I've here. Here's one, and it's dented so much that you can see the white paper underneath the purple and silver. So I was really disappointed, but I contacted Book Depository where I ordered it, and it was solved in a half an hour. So I'm really, really happy with them. Thank you, Book Depository. I will keep buying. <laughs> um. And it looks like this, under the dust jacket, and like this in the spine, which is incredibly pretty if you ask me. And it's about angels. I believe she's um, half angel and she discovers that or something. Um, so yeah. I'm really excited to read this. So I've got a ton of books that I have to go and read. Um, I will put a review of all of them on the blog as soon as I've read them. I won't put a blog of literally. I won't put a post or a review on the books that I've read from the Georgia Nicholson series yet. I will do that when I've reread them because I've got most of the story, I think. So yeah, um, that's what I got in my mailbox this week. What did you get in yours? Bye.